Hi there, and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so please stay tuned. Today we're looking at a quadruple robot called Animal, the Neato Smartwatch robot controller, and Google Atlas robot takes a beating. Don't forget guys, if you're looking to find out where to get your hands on any of the robots in this weekly robot update or any other robots, then please visit my RoboFoot online store. Anymore. Robotics Systems Lab based in Zurich, Switzerland has recently released a new video of Anymore with Marco Hutter at Robotics Systems Lab explaining the new designs. Anymore is a quadruped robot designed for autonomous operation in challenging environments. Driven by special, compliant and precise torque control actuators, the system is capable of dynamically running and high mobile climbing. Thanks to incorporated laser sensors and cameras, the robot can perceive its environment to continuously create maps and accurately localise. Based on this information, it can autonomously plan its navigation path and carefully select footholds while walking. Driven by real-world applications, namely industrial inspection of oil and gas sites, Animal carries batteries for more than two hours autonomy and different sensor equipment such as optical and thermal cameras, microphones, gas detector sensors and active lighting. With this payload, the machine weighs less than 30 kilograms and can hence be easily transported and deployed by a single operator. Neato Smartwatch. Neato's robotic vacuum can now be controlled with a smartwatch, thanks to an app update announced this week. The automatic update allows smartwatch users to start, stop, and receive notification from Neato's BotVac Connection Vacuum, a Wi Fi connected Roomba competitor that uses laser scanners to map and clean spaces. The BotVac Connected could already be controlled from iOS and Android smartphone apps, but this week's update brings the same functionality to Apple and Android smartwatches. According to Nito, this week's update makes the Bot Vac Connect the first robot vacuum to offer smartwatch functionality. In addition to starting and stopping the vacuum, Bot Vac Connect and owners can monitor the progress of its cleaning on their smartwatches and receive notifications once it's finished. Google's Atlas robot takes a beating. The company's robotics subsidy, Boston Dynamics, has revealed the latest iteration of Atlas Robot, most recently seen doing the hoovering last month. The older version of Atlas was clunky, tethered to its control apparatus through a tangle of wires, and not particularly a good housekeeper either. But just a month later, the newest iteration of the hardware is much more agile. The next generation of Atlas is a smaller than its predecessor, and able to run without wires entirely. The demonstration video shows it's opening the doors of Boston Dynamics offices in Massachusetts before trampling through the snow-filled woodland outside the building. It stumbles once but stays upright throughout. The video also shows the robot stacking 10 pound weights and in a classic of the Boston Dynamics robot torture genre, being prodded with a hockey stick before eventually being forcefully shoved over entirely with a tube. But even when it's down, Atlas isn't out and the robot manages to quickly get up on its two legs. That's it guys for the weekly World Robot News. I'm your host, Philip English. Please visit my RoboFill online store if you want to find out where to procure any of the robots in the weekly update and to find lots of other robots you can add to your collection. Now if you like this robot video and want to see even more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I put links relating to these videos as well as other information and web links for your review. If you have any questions or want to see any other robot tutorials or review videos, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.